After having and using French cleats for several years now, I wanted to kind of touch base, go over some of the pros and cons of long-term usage, and settle some of the debates. And just in case you've never seen any of my videos, I wanted to show you some of the French cleats on my walls, so you can tell that I've definitely been building these for quite a while. Now I've written down a number of common questions primarily for long term usage of the French cleats and things you might come across in the process. So let's go to the first one, which is, in the long term, are French cleats still useful? Well, as you can tell behind me, I'm still using my French cleats. Once you've built the holders and you found out really how useful they are and how easy for them to grab your tools and find them, it's kind of hard to go back to drawers and go back to other cabinets and things where you kind of have to search for your tools. So yes, it does take a little bit of time to build your holders, but once you have them up, I don't see you taking them down anytime soon. Moving on to the next question, do you still make holders for new tools? Well here lately, I'm not really buying that many new tools. Over the last few years, I've been very blessed to be able to collect a bunch of tools and use them whenever I need to but I'm not really building many French cleat holders here lately just because I don't need them. Now, if I was still buying tools, I'd probably still build on occasion to get them up on my wall and make them really easy access. But here lately, no, I haven't. But I do want to show you one of the last holders I did make. Not too long ago, I picked up a bunch of these little clamps. Now, of course, these right here could go in individual little slots, but that could take a lot of work. So instead, I can get some of these off here. I just built a piece of wood that comes out with a hole in the middle and this allows me just to kind of throw these over the edge here and have easy quick access but they're relatively secure in place. As long as I don't try and take this off the wall and move it around a bunch, they're not going anywhere. And the next question is, can you have too many French cleats? Yes, uh, you can have too many French cleats. Too much of anything can be a bad thing. You got too much water, you're going to drown. In any case, whenever you have your French cleats, if you have too many holders and not enough wall space, yeah, that can be a problem. If you try and make a holder for each and every little individual tool to hang up, that can be a problem. So whenever you're looking at, try to have like a collective. Maybe whenever you're putting all your tools, have them in one little box. Whenever you're building it for your clamps, have them in one collective little cleat or holder that you can put up on your wall. That way you kind of have everything condensed in, in a lot tighter fashion whenever you're putting them up and that way you don't have too many for the walls. This next question is actually kind of a two in one. What is the best wood to use and how much weight can they really hold? I actually answered this question in a previous video and I'm going to put a link to that in the description. But I actually went and built a setup and tested several pieces of different type of materials that can be used for fringe cleats and showed you exactly how much weight they can handle. And if you watched the video, I probably should have wore a helmet because I did get hit in the head one good time, but that's okay. I did it for you so that you would know this answer and not have to keep asking this question. So put a link to that in the description. Make sure you check it out if that's one of your questions. Moving on, are French cleat locks worth the effort? In case you don't know, this is a French cleat lock. It goes on the back of your holder, so once you slides into place, the lock comes up and kind of secures it against the bottom of your cleat on your wall, not allowing it to come off easily. So is it necessary? Well, it really depends on your holder and the tool, you, the way you're going to use that tool. For example, this right here is set up for a hand plane. And sometimes when I go to grab it, the hand plane kind of sticks. And when I grab it fast, the holder can fall off the wall really easily. So in this case, yeah, a lock will come in handy. But for this big holder right here on the wall that I have a lot of weight on, I have chargers, batteries, multiple drills. If I go in and take one of the drills off, there's almost zero chance that it's gonna fall off the wall. Now, if I go over and try and jar on it really hard, yeah, it's possible, but that should never happen. Jumping back to the questions, do you really move tools around? Actually, yes. It's not very common, but I do. In fact, if you look right up here, just the other day I decided that some of my tools were up too high and I moved them down one cleat and I like them right there at that level. Now, it is really nice if I decide that maybe something on this wall will work better on that wall. So I take it off and move it over there. I don't have to take out any screws. I don't have to patch any holes. The walls look just as nice as I did when I started. And that's the great thing about French cleats. So do I move them, move them around often? No, but yes, I do move them around and that is one benefit of them. The next question is actually kind of a two in one itself. It says, how often do your French cleats get damaged and do you ever replace them? Well, I never replaced mine, 
These are the original ones I put up. And the only damage I'd probably say is maybe a tool or something falls on it and puts a little divot or a little nick maybe in the edge of one of the French cleats. That's really the only damage that happens to these. Um, I mean, I guess if you were to ram something really heavy into one, there's potential you could damage it. But as long as you put them up correctly when you first install them, they should last you a very long time. Moving on to the next question. Are French cleat holders the only holders you have in your workshop? Actually, no. Right over here, I have just a little bit of pegboard. Pegboard's great for maybe you still have stuff in the packages. You can hang it up, maybe string, or some kind of a little clip, or something you can easily and quickly just hang on a little peg. Those can come in handy. But overall, French cleats, these are the way I would still recommend for people to go with. But don't just limit yourself just to the French cleats. Have a little pegboard, have a couple little other things. You'll find it useful, but definitely, I still recommend French cleats. After answering those questions, I hope you know a little bit more and you're a little bit more interested in French cleats. If that is the case, at the end of this video and down in the description, I'm gonna link a playlist with literally hundreds of ideas. I've made a ton of videos over the past few years talking about French cleats, helping give you ideas and showing you the strengths and weaknesses, things to do and things not to do. So make sure you check out that playlist. You should be very, very inspired if you're interested at all in French cleats. So I hope you get a chance to get out in your shop and build something cool.